Today, we're going to take a look at something that some of the new Tesla owners out there might want to know about. For the older Tesla owners, you may not know about this very much as well. And what it is, is the service mode on the vehicle. Well, say, well, Red, why do you need to know about service mode? Well, the answer is, if you have issues that crop up on your vehicle and you don't know what they are, if you go into service mode, they can really tell you or give you some hints about what the problem may be and whether or not it's an expensive fix or, you know, it could be really cheap or something really simple. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that in just a couple moments. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the show. So here we have our screen uh, for our Tesla, and this is going to be true for most every Tesla out there. So this is a Cybertruck, but it'll work on the Model S, Model 3, all of those as well, especially hardware for vehicles. So here's how we get into service mode. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the little car icon down here in the lower left hand corner, get into your settings menu. Then we're going to go to software of all places. What you're going to do, you're going to come over here to the logo uh, for your vehicle. Mine says Cyberbeast. So if you say, you're, say, Model S or Model 3, Model X or what have you, what you're going to do, you're going to put your finger on it, press and release after a few seconds, and you're going to get this screen up. It's going to say, please enter access code. And what you're going to do, you're going to type in the word service, S-E-R-V-I-C-E. -E. Hit OK. Gives you caution and proper use of service mode. Now, I will caution you. Do not change anything. It's okay to look, but do not change anything in here, okay? Because if you really don't know what you're doing, you can really mess some things up. Hit enter. See the big red border come around? That's how you know you're in service mode. And so now we have several things here. Um, gives you a VIN number. It shows you full self-driving computer, that, that type of information. Uh, you can go down here and look at the cameras for the driver assist. It shows you all the different cameras, the statuses and things of that nature. Same thing goes with uh, most of the other systems on board the vehicle. Uh, it tells you a lot. There's a lot of information here. If you take time to go through it and just go ahead and look, you'll be surprised at what you can find. But that's not what I want to show you. What I really want to show you is down here. It's service alerts. If you press this button right here, you get this screen up. Now, if you have anything go wrong with your vehicle, if you have any kind of anomalies that happen with your vehicle, this is where they're going to pop up. And it'll say uh, recent alerts and active alerts. Active alerts means there's still a problem with the vehicle. Recent alerts means there was a problem, but it was cleared up. And sometimes your vehicle can go through a lot of alerts depending on what you're doing especially if you power the vehicle down restarted or if it's just having intermittent issues you'll see a lot of uh alerts pop up in the recent alerts so if we pop up on this one this one says uia201 that's actually a repair code that you can look up in a book and figure out exactly what it's for and when you tap on it it gives you additional information about that item in this case uh it'll say set time it happened on this date at this time that's what time the event occurred clear time that tells you what time it actually stopped being a problem so the problem came in whatever it was it fixed itself and it's no longer uh, a problem it says audience service fix factory and that's the reason why you did not get an alert about it simply because uh, it's a service fix and it was an intermittent problem and it was not going to uh, announce itself to the customer. Uh, here's a description of the problem. The media control unit cannot detect the connection to the rear display. So for whatever reason, it dropped uh, connection to the rear display. As I said, many of these alerts are just nuisance uh, momentary alerts. It may have just been a stray electron of something of that nature, but it does keep a record to show you what happened. In this case, it happened for exactly six seconds. If you look at that timestamp there, it lost connection. And it could have been because I reset the truck and I uh, did a reboot on the truck. It may have been six seconds. That's the reason it lost, uh, it, it lost connection. Set condition. The MCU cannot detect the rear display. 
that's telling you the reason why the alert happened. So it's telling you the condition that had to exist in order for the alert to occur. In this case, the, the MCU, the media control unit, could not uh, detect the rear display. Clear condition. This is the condition upon which, if this is satisfied, then the alert is canceled. That means everything is back to normal, everything is nominal, life is good again. In order to meet this clear condition, it says the MCU detects the rear display. So where it lost communication with it the first time, now it is now detecting this display. It's saying, hey, there's no longer a problem. It's clear. So now, so you have the set time, which is the set condition, and you have the clear time, which now says, okay, condition's clear. This is what time it cleared. And it says potential impact. The rear display may not be powered or may not function as expected. So I use this as an example to show you what an error in the service mode looks like so that if you have any errors in your service mode, you can actually learn how to read it, decipher it, and know what it is that you're looking at. And as I said before, just go in here and look around. It's okay to look, but do not change anything. I cannot stress that enough. Do not change anything unless you absolutely know what you are doing. You're a technician. I cannot stress that. Otherwise, you may brick your vehicle. Simply, simply said, yeah, you may just wind up bricking your vehicle. You don't want that. So learn how to read the service menu and uh, learn what the codes are. You know, go in there and take a peek every so often. Don't be put off by the service menu and just be able to go in there, take a look around. Don't be put off by all the service messages that may be there. Because as I said, sometimes your vehicle just goes through cycles of uh, errors. It may be power cycling the vehicle, things of that nature. And just by simply rebooting the vehicle clears a lot of those errors. Um, we talked about the recent alerts. The recent alerts, they already happened. The ones you want to be concerned about are active alerts. Those are the ones that are still continuing going, going on. Now, under the alerts, you have uh, two different, really two different types of alerts. You have a service fix and a customer alert. Customer alert would be something like you're out of windshield wiper fluid, something of that nature. Uh, in which case, that's something for you to do. It's going to uh, be under your notification menu on your vehicle. Service fix means that you can't fix whatever the problem is. Uh, that means that you actually have to schedule a service call. And that's the way that you know um, if you have to schedule a service call uh, in the service menu. So please pay attention to that. Some other, other things back in here. Uh, if we go back to our main menu, you would go back to the main menu. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. You go back to the main menu by hitting the little red wrench. And that takes us back to the main menu. And it, once again, takes you through different parts of the system, the um, refrigeration, doors. Uh, they have ways of calibrating the tunnel cover. They have all sorts of things in here. So in order to exit service mode, to get out of the service mode, to go back to your normal menu, you have this button right here. Just press this button, boom. Press and hold to exit, you're out of service mode. It is that simple. I hope you really learned a lot here. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below and let me know what you think. As always, we do have discount codes on several different Tesla products. Please follow our affiliate links uh, for some great discounts, and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.